hello guys welcome back to my channel it is your girl benny bonita aka huang Beini. oh my gosh i missed you guys so much <laughs> i feel like i haven't put in out a video in forever and i feel so bad but you know when you're in grad school and you're working then you come for me okay but how are you guys i hope you guys are doing well i hope your day is going well i hope work is going smooth i hope business is booming christmas is coming so i feel like we should all be a little more cheerful and i know some of y'all out there don't celebrate christmas whether it's hanukkah kwanzaa just a happy holiday you know <laughs> I just want everything to be okay overall. A few things I wanted to talk about. Did you guys see Tomboy Don't Kill? I was on Billy Billy and I came across a video of Tomboy Don't Kill at one of his concerts or some type of performance and he played this new song or like a remix to a song that he might be putting out. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I forgot the name, but it's like, all I want is you, you, you. Oh, it sounds so good. Yo, I should be on the remix. <laughs> I'm excited for that song. I hope that song come out tomorrow but today that's not what we are reacting to today we are reacting to lexi liu manta or i think her chinese name is liu bo xin i believe correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> it's nice that we're reacting to a woman i feel like we don't do that a lot on this channel so far I mean, if there's any other woman I should be listening to, definitely comment down below. Let me know because how am I supposed to know if you guys don't tell me? Come on now. I'm trying to add some music to my playlist. So please recommend, 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 recommend. Just put it down. Do it! But yes, Lexi Liu. I looked her up. I did some digging because when I saw the word manta, or Manta, I didn't, I could not think of what could possibly be the topic of the song. So I decided, let me look her up a bit. Let me, you know, let me look her up a bit. So I did. So first things first, Lexi Liu is from Changsha, and that's in Hunan province. She was on a Korean music program called Star 5, and her group placed fourth. So that's actually pretty good. Like once you're like top five, you got something going on for yourself. Now, here's the thing. When people debut in the K-pop world, I know they have a K-pop profile. So these humans that blog on that site find out little things about the artist. I went on their site. I found something that made me realize why the name is Manta. Ends up, her favorite animal is the manta, aka the manta ray, aka the stingray's fraternal twin. The stingray and the manta ray definitely look similar. I mean, you can't tell me they don't look similar. What makes the manta ray and the stingray different is that the manta ray or the manta ray does not have any barbs, which means if the manta ray were to sting you it could not sting you with venom the way a stingray does however it can still whoop that ass with that tail so <laughs> be careful they know how to defend themselves interestingly enough the manta ray also has the nickname devilfish which i was kind of surprised because i would have thought the stingray would have the name devilfish since it does have venom flowing through its tail but now that made me wonder, hmm, she named her song Manta. I guess she's going to be making references to the Manta Ray that she loves so much. If that's the case, I'm expecting words like ocean, maybe even devilfish, swimming, um, just things that are associated with water. 
And then, hmm, let's say this is a love song, then maybe it's like she might mention how it's like she can hurt you back, but she's not toxic. Mm -hmm. Like if she has something like that in there, I wouldn't be surprised. So that's my, what I expect from the song today. Now we're just gonna get right into it because I know I spent a lot of time in my intro just talking away, but yeah, we're gonna get right into it. So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I feel so bad guys because this hairstyle is wearing out and I plan on taking it out very soon, probably sometime before Christmas. And I wish I made a video when it was just fresh because I like to share my new hairstyles with you guys and I didn't get to do that, sorry. So just looking at the thumbnail, I see her, she has an oxygen mask of sorts and she looked like she's underwater. So there we go, we're already starting with something watery. I think this research was very helpful. Wow, it has six million views and it was from a year ago. I'm really late. <laughs> Ooh, she run. Ooh. Giving me cyber virtual. Not a swimming ball as an ocean. Never not catch like a job. She said it's not a swimming pool, it's an ocean. She still said swimming. And I, I said she was gonna say swimming. I was right. And then on top of that, she's mentioned a body of water. I said she was gonna mention the body of water. I was right. <laughs> See, sometimes a little research goes a long way. <laughs> I'm feeling myself just a little bit. Also, I'm liking this kind of cyber look to the thing. I don't know why this kind of reminds me of that scene from, I don't know why, but this um, part of like her falling out and everything, the look, for some reason, just reminds me of that movie, Shang-Chi, and I don't know why. <laughs> also, don't I don't know the tones for Shang-Chi, so I don't know if it's Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, Shang. Like, don't ask me. <laughs> right now, I don't remember, because I watched it in English, and they kept saying Shang-Chi, and <laughs> I don't know the tones, okay? But I think it's Shang-Chi. Tell me down below. But yeah, I don't know. It reminded me of that scene where they were coming after the sister and then they had to like jump out the window to escape. And, oh, you know what? Let me not spoil the movie for you guys. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. <laughs> uh, I won't put any more details out there. Let's continue. Hey guys. So editing me here, I just wanted to mention that I also thought it reminded me of Sungri Gotta Talk To You. No, oh no. Hold on, stop, stop, stop. Okay. She said, a mariner, they got me, like, something about reeling in, blah, blah, blah. Now, that makes me wonder, would a manta be fooled if you put out a bait? Would it, would it bite? Because she said reeling me in, which is, like, fishing related, like, water related, which I feel like, oh, yeah, that's, that's a good line right there. But I'm just curious as to, would a manta ray actually take bait like that or do you, would they avoid it oh wait another thing interestingly enough she's an experiment i like the reference of her like kind of being an experiment in this because in a sense the man it's like she's on display to these other scientists around and it's like a manta kind of ends up having to do the same thing if ever caught because then you could go see the manta at the zoo. That manta would be on display for 
anyone who passes through an aquarium. So this is interesting. I, I like the par the parallelism of that. <laughs> how many times she mentioned devil fish to be honest i didn't think like <laughs> i thought that maybe it would have been mentioned so i was right <laughs> i was right but i didn't think she would say it so many times in the song because i thought she was going to use the manta as a reference to like you know whether it be romance or like i don't know some type of typical um topic for a song but in a sense this is a little different like I feel like it's almost like she is the manta like I fly in water like the manta <laughs> the <laughs> so uh, I didn't expect it to take this type of turn but I like it I like it and it's very it, like everything she's wearing except for the red i don't know the red the red outfit is giving me something a little bit different than the other outfits but all the other outfits give me cyber futuristic technological advancement <laughs> i don't know but the red one i don't know i i can't put my finger on what vibe it's giving me but it's not giving me future it's giving me something else Ooh. i thought that was a spine like someone's back <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought they were gonna kiss. <laughs> I like the electricity. <laughs> I feel like Lexi Leo is just like me. She got a big forehead just like me. That was not half bad that was actually very enjoyable i really like the vibes i'm surprised on how right i am i didn't think it would be so much about the manta but it like she meant like she's like i said she mentioned swimming she mentioned 
water. She mentioned bodies of water. She even mentioned the nickname for Manta, which is the devil fish. She knows her Manta vocabulary. <laughs> I'm really happy that we were able to hear a girl today. <sighs> I would give her a 8.5. Because I feel like I would add this song to my playlist, one. Two, I feel like she was different. Like she had some rap, she had some techno. Like it's very unique to me. And then I always love it when I hear two languages in one song and she used Chinese and English and I love that. So I feel like my overall score is gonna be 8.5 for her. Um, if you disagree with me, you know, let me know down below. What was your favorite part of the song? I feel like my favorite part was definitely the ma a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a and if Tomboy Don't Kill song comes out, mm -mm, please tell me. <laughs> tell me down below. Because I'm, I'm waiting for the song. I want to react to it. I'm already reacting to his little snippets of it. So come on. Tell me down below. Thank you. And until next time. Bye.